Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we started this series of videos back in March. First thing I was showing you was my garlic. And, and when I uncovered it, yeah, there was something there, but it didn't look like a lot. But now it's it's the last week of June. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this stuff up and, and get it curing. And I just wanna show you a comparison to me, how big this stuff has, got, has gotten. And it's really, this is not a very big area. I just have it in there, you know, close and tight grow a lot of garlic in a little space. So I'm gonna pull one up now and show you, you know, what we're starting with, but I won't bore you with you know, digging them all up, but I will give you a final total and show you a final picture of everything I'm done. All right, here's, our, here's, a, here's an example of some of the ones I just dug up. Pretty good this year. Um, I will hold back maybe six, seven, eight pounds have to look up. Every year I keep the same amount back and that's the way I replant. I usually pick the bigger heads, so, you know, hopefully it just goes on. And uh, but this is what you, this is where the final product. Another thing, for those of you who are trying to make the most out of your garden, uh, this is called a garlic scape. This is what I missed because I cut these off about two weeks ago. Because you want to cut these off because it takes away from the plant. But I used to throw them away until I saw people buying them at a, at a farm stand and I asked what you do with them things. So they told me you can make pesto out of them. You can, you know, you cut them up because they, 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 once you cut this, the oil comes out, it's very garlicky. You can do stir fry, you can, you know, barbecue sauce, whatever you want The cost for garlic, you can do it. But I missed this one, but I go along and cut them all off on low. But I mean, I had like three and a half pounds, four pounds of these things this year. I made a lot of pesto. So there's one more thing, you know, than just the garlic head. Welcome back, everybody. Now that all the hard work's done, it took quite a few hours to get this to this point. But I ended up with almost 55 pounds of garlic. Um, this is how I do it. You know, everyone's got their own way of doing it. I cut off the, the stalks, I take off Try to take off as little as I can, like maybe one layer, just so it's clean. I cut off the rootstock. Um, I have them on this flower cart in my garage with a, a large industrial fan blowing on them. You want, you want air moving across them because we just had a, we've had a lot of rain the last week. We got like two inches last week. And, uh, and this stem inside was very, very moist. And, and that could cause they have to go in there and, and, they're, and they're rot these bulbs. So, as you can see, this way or this way, you want your garlic to be defined. So it should look like a head of garlic. If they're smooth, they're not ready to pick. And sometimes, you know, you, you get a choice and they don't. But this is just showing you, this is where a mature head should look like. And you can see, I mean, there's six to eight huge bulbs in here. You know, but they are drying out nice. I've had them, it's Tuesday, we did this Sunday. They're drying out nice, and then I can about I'll give them a couple weeks in my garage, and then I'll I'll put them in. I leave them whole, and I'll put them in my in a, some onion bags in my basement where it's cool and dry. And then you don't want to you don't want to break them until you're going to do something with them, especially if you're going to plant them. Uh, I said seven or eight pounds I use every fall. I will keep them like this until I, I'm ready to put them in like that day. And then you break them apart because this, this keeps them integral and everything else I've read about it says the same thing. Um, so, but this is organic so I can, I can re, you know, I, I can plant this and it comes back. I've been doing this for like over 20 years. I started, I finally figured out the aha moment. You know, this is organic. I could be replanting instead of buying it from every year. So, better late than never. But um, just to hit on a couple things, I want to show you, okay. Um, I got this from Peaceful Valley, they're in from California, and all they talk about, and it's not, they don't have the winters we do, all they talk about is protecting your garlic gophers. They say put wire over it, whatever, okay. Well, they don't have winters here, like, or any snow at all, at least that part they don't. So what I started making were these little houses, and this is just, this is just a picket, this is a, 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 a cedar fence picket I screwed together. And then, and then you put this, after you plant your garlic, you put leaves on top and then put this on 
and then more leaves on top of that or straw, whatever you got. And then that protects them from being smashed by the snow over the winter. It lets them get a chance. Then you can peel these back, like I showed you up in my very first video, how to do that. Or just, you know, what mine finally, and they're just stick, starting to stick out of the ground. You know, they've got no sun on them, they look real, you know, pale, but this keeps them from, before I, I lost a lot of garlic before I figured these out. Now what I use, I got these at work. They're aluminum. These were a light fixture. Best thing I ever found at work. They were, they, they, these were twice as long, I just cut them in half, and they were some kind of a fixture. But now I don't, they, they won't rust, they don't, you know. These work, I use these for a lot of years, but eventually, you know, they do break down. But, you know, depending on how much garlic you're gonna plant, you know, you could buy, a, you know, three or four of these, put them together, and you're done. So, and, and just throw them off the side when you're not using them, you're good. I will hit more on this fall when I'm putting, when I'm replanting for this fall, but I want to at least show you somewhat what I do because obviously you can be very successful with planting garlic. All right? Stay dirty, my friends.